of for sale now vehicle max of beautiful 2008 Land Rover LR3 four wheel drive SCV8 charcoal gray, gray with a black leather has a factory power moonroof factory a rear sky view as well as the third row seat it's a seven passenger it has also heated seats and it's got a uh, matching Falcon tires that are nearly brand new it has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website vehiclemax.net we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street in Miami Florida 33142 is our zip code open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5 and we're always closed on Sundays we have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars we are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Vehicle also has the parking um, sensors in the rear bumper. Four-wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring system has only 63,000 uh, miles. Again, matching Falcon tires that are not new, but as you can see, you still have plenty of tread left on them. The car has no dents, no hill damage, no lug bug damage, no major scratches or touch-ups of any kind. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop on every wheel and tire, and then go ahead and get inside of it, get it started, show you the interior options. All right, let's do that. Let's get inside of the car now. The door panels are all black with a gray accent and the chrome trimming. Of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, power mirrors, automatic headlights that come out of sunset and come off the of sunrise, as well as fog lights. Got a uh, power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Got uh, also uh, curtain side airbags, as well as seat side airbags. I don't know if you can see it down there. It's easier to see from the back. Uh, before I sit down, let me go ahead and pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non-smoker. Got a power sliding moonroof up here, which I'll open and close for you in just a second. And in the rear, we got the rear, uh, we got middle row and third row sky view. These do not open up, these are just for you to look out of, and they do have a shade that is on right now that you can um, open so you can see more clear outside. Okay, um, got also a factory uh, heavy duty floor mats from Land Rover with anchors and everything so they don't slide around. These are the ones that collect the dirt and it's, it's nice and easy to keep your car clean. Uh, let me go ahead and sit down and get it started. Close the door. It also has the uh, Harman Kardon stereo sound system, which we'll put on for just a second now so you can hear it. Um, let's start off with the moonroof. Let's close the moonroof. It's a one touch, you don't have to hold it. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but also has this shade to cover the sun. To open the shade, all you gotta do is simply push up and let go, and it retracts on its own. We're gonna go ahead and leave it open for the video so we can get a little bit of lighting. Okay. The car has 63,722 miles. It's running right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights here so you can see the uh, dashboard a little better. And I'm gonna rev the engine, so keep an eye on the tachometer on the left-hand side of your screen. There's a V8 motor. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine zoom, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. Everything is working and running perfectly. In the center has a display for the outside temperature and current time. The only lights that are on are the headlights there and they are in green and the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Okay, a bunch of stuff to show you. This vehicle does have the uh, satellite stereo sound system, but you right now it's in preview mode. You have to call that number to subscribe. We've also got heated seats, high and low uh, settings. That's high there and that's low. And you turn it off here. Same thing on the passenger side. Okay. Um, also got down here 
a uh, your cigarette lighters down here. It's from the top. There we go. And in here is your ashtray that looks like it's never even been used. And another power point down here. Oh, this is this one here. I'm gonna see through the camera. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, got an auto dimming rear view mirror that senses bright light. So if somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. Down below here, we have uh, your home link, your universal garage door opener, these three buttons here. These are the ones that you can use to program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Got also map lights on each side. Uh, what else? Got an automatic transmission with a manual shifting mode. I'll show you how that goes with the vehicle in reverse here. Neutral. And then drive. And that's how you're going to drive in 99% of the time. But if you want to make it uh, shift manually, you push the lever over. And you'll see a plus and minus here. If you tap up, you'll shift up. If you tap down, you'll shift down. That doesn't interest you. Push the lever over and the transmission will shift on its own. Okay, you got cup holders here on either side. And these cup holders have like a rubber lining that if you pull out, you can actually uh, have them cleaned in case you spill coffee or soda or anything like that there. <coughs> Excuse me. Have several settings for off-road or or sand or snow or things of that sort here by moving this wheel around this is uh, here to control your suspension right now we have it on off-road which is the uh, high the vehicle sits a little higher and if you push in this knob here down then you it'll lower enough for like city driving and you also have descent control uh, your parking brake is here pull up and the brake is gonna come on you see it there on the right hand side to uh, turn it off you gotta step on the brake and then push forward and the brake will come off Okay, over here you got a uh, coin storage. More, uh, just another trailer to put stuff. Um, up in the top here you have more space to put other things. Uh, and the center console here where you rest your elbow. You got a deep storage there for like CD, um, uh, CD, CDs to put in there in the casing. And this section here where you rest your elbow also uh, has, uh, you can move it up or down has an adjustable uh, a wheel here. You turn it to the left to put it the position you like and then once you get there then you go ahead and tighten it to the right clockwise and it'll stay where you want to set it. You got a glove box over here, a two tier glove box. The, to the top tier is for uh, smaller stuff like maps or uh, magazines or correspondence. And then your bottom tier which has the... Uh, let me reach over there. The owner's manual. With this, uh, with all the supplemental booklets that you need. Whoops. Okay. That's what you call live TV here or live video. Wasn't expecting that. And let's go ahead and put this. Uh, I guess this is the original business card from when they bought it new. Put that away. Throw that in there. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, Let's go ahead and listen to a little bit of the music on your Harman Carbon the Harman Carton stereo sound system. To raise the volume, you can do it right from the steering wheel here. Let's see if we can find a little music. To raise the volume here. Low right here. Uh, this is to navigate up by your preset stations. These are the ones that you set yourself in here on these buttons. Okay, and uh, over here is your mode. It takes you from uh, AM to FM to CD. Right now, there's no CDs in there. This is six uh, disc CD changer. Again, again, it's the Harman Kardon stereo sound system satellite, which you have to sign up for, and then back to FM. Uh, what else? Um, Let's see here. Let's go ahead and uh, pan over the dashboard area now so you can see it's in great shape. Without any cuts, stairs, or burn holes. Alright. Uh, let's pan over the passenger seating area here now before we move on to the back. Okay. Uh, also in the steering wheel, I forgot to show you, here's your uh, Bluetooth. The green one to answer, the red one to hang up. Cruise control on this side and your voice command on this side you beep your horn by pressing here or here which you could do with your thumb okay uh, leather wrap steering wheel I'll pan around that nice and slow so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts 
tears, burn holes, no stains, uh, no stitching coming apart, no color missing. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays, 9 to 5, and always close on Sundays. Okay, I think we're ready to move on to the back, so let's do that. Turn off the car. Let me turn off the headlight, because if you don't turn off the headlight, then it gives you the warning. So let's go ahead and turn it off. All right, let's go on to the middle section of the vehicle. This is a seven passenger. Uh, two in the front and three in the middle and they all have an over-the-shoulder belt in the middle including a middle row passenger and two more in the back makes a total of seven um, Lots to talk about here. Let's talk about the uh, child lock protection and how it works is the following when uh, This uh, little hole here is a ver slot is vertical uh, It's unlocked if you twist it to the right. I'm sorry. It's already uh, if you twist it to the left to go horizontal like here it locks and what it does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open is the outer handle. To re-engage, just do the opposite. Put your key in there or a screwdriver, give it a half a twist to the right. And you now you're uh, also in unlock mode, which means you can use this handle and it will start working again. Here's the uh, side airbag I was telling you about earlier that we couldn't see from the front. Again, we got the rugged mats down here also. Okay, in the back of the center console, we got plenty going on here. We get AC vents, we got also an auxiliary port for your iPod, and another cigarette lighter adapter. Not only are the front seat heated, but also the middle row seats are heated as well. And you have the little lid to close it there. We have also AC vents up in the roof here for the middle row passengers, and we also have the controls here for the middle row passengers where they can control the uh, fan speed, the airflow, and also the temperature. All right, let's talk about the rear sky view here for a minute. Let me sit down here and show you how this goes. Same as in the front. To open this up, all you gotta do is push up on it, and let it go, and it retracts on its own, and it clicks on the place. Same thing in the rear. Okay, uh, to gain access to the rear. It's very simple. All you gotta do is pull up in this handle here. And there's also another handle back here. Let me see if uh, it's a little hard to see because you're shooting this video. You know, but it's like a loop here. You pull it, and the seat gets out of the way for you to gain nice and easy access to the uh, third row seat. Now, the third row seat will also go into a, a flip down and go into cargo mode. And uh, this action that we just did here, you can do also on the passenger side. To close it, you push down manually, it locks, push on here, and then lift up, and you're ready to drive off. You also have anchors for your baby car seat in here. All right, let's move on to the uh, cargo area. By the way, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Rear wiper, rear window defroster, the little lines inside. To open this up, it's a two-tier tailgate. You pull on here, lift up. Then you come over here and uh, there's a handle. In. Okay, here we go. You press on here and this opens right up. Now as I was telling you, you got to flip the seat up forward first and then you flip this down and it'll, it'll go in this position, it'll go like this, boom, and get completely flat to go into cargo mode. You got a cigarette lighter adapter here, some storage there on the side, a cup holder, and the same thing on this side. Okay, so let's close this up. Let's move on to the passenger side. Oop. All right, right rear tail light, perfect shape, no damage, no cuts, no cracks. Let's come on this way here, right rear uh, door panel, same way, of course we got the child lock protection on this side as well, both door panels have a little pocket there for bottles, you know, for like water, and the anchors in the rear also have uh, these locking things that keeps them from sliding around, okay, give you another look at the interior from this angle here, also the headliner, remember you also have the full uh, sky view, which is nice. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the speaker covers are cracked, uh, that there are no cuts or tears on the uh, side door panels, they're in really, really great shape. Passenger front door panel now. Same way, nice and clean. Uh, not only do you have a uh, power seat and power recliner on the driver's seat, but also on the passenger side as well. Right now I want to talk to you about financing for just a second. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing 
for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away and you're concerned about the financing or you just want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, run the homepage, you'll see a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.